Hi, my name is Dennis Kuhn, and I'm presenting on behalf of DocStore for its 2021 update. By way of introduction, we'll be talking briefly about the last time we presented at BOSC in 2019. We'll be talking about new features in DocStore, such as GitHub apps, snapshotting, requesting DOIs and exporting to ORCID. We'll be talking about additional launch with partners, usability improvements that we've made, We'll also be talking a little bit about prominent work on DocStore by way of introducing some of our features for the community. And we'll be wrapping up by taking a brief look behind the scenes and at some resources that can be used to learn more about DocStore. So before the pandemic, here's a picture of a conference we used to go to and the last time we presented DocStore at BOSC. Um, you might as well get out of the way. Here's a picture of an office we haven't been to in Toronto for about a year or an office in California we haven't been to in a year. This is a bit of a long way of saying that I'm presenting on behalf of the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research based at the Mars Center in Toronto and the University of California, Santa Cruz Genomics Institute. So in our presentation, we talked about how Docster is a free and open source platform for sharing scientific tools and workflows. We continue being a registry for Docker-based resources described using popular workflow languages in bioinformatics, such as CWL, Whittle, Nextflow, and we've added Galaxy since our last presentation. We continue to work on things such as portability, interoperability, and reproducibility. One feature that we've been working on is GitHub Apps. Traditionally, workflow developers log into DocStore in order to update their entries by hitting the refresh button. Our current recommendation, however, is to take advantage of our new feature that allows you to synchronize workflows using GitHub apps. What this looks like is you are redirected through our register dialog to GitHub where you install our GitHub app. You can either install our app into one particular repository or into an entire organization at what one time. Then. When you go to GitHub and look at your repository, you will need to create a .docstore.yaml. A .docstore.yaml file indicates the location of the workflow, but you can also start controlling some information such as whether that workflow is published and also what branches you might be interested in. In this case, I'm gonna modify this to say that I'm interested in all tags, but also changes to the main branch. I'm gonna save my changes through the magic of time travel, what I can do is I can return to DocStore, refresh the page, and then navigate to the workflow on DocStore. As we can see, it's been a few minutes. I also added in a new tag, but you can see the contents of the new tag and the modified main branch on DocStore. That's pretty much all you need to do. We also happen to publish it using a .docstore.yaml setting. The next series of features allows you to snapshot workflows, mint DOIs for them, and export them to your ORCID account. The idea behind these series of features is to improve the reproducibility of your workflows. By freezing your workflow content, you ensure that your workflow will not change between you deciding to freeze it and that workflow getting launched on one of our launch with partners. The idea is that we capture checksums for the Docker images that are referenced by your workflow and for the descriptor files themselves. This information is now available for our launch with partners, allowing them to verify whether that workflow has actually changed. You also have the ability to link your Zenodo account in order to mint a DOI for your workflow for publications and to serve as another copy of your workflow. You can also export your workflows to your ORCID account. The way this looks is if you go back to our example workflow, you can go to a particular version of that workflow, click on Actions, click on Export to ORCID, and here's our wizard that guides you through the process of snapshotting, requesting a DOI, and exporting a particular entry to ORCID. We've also continued to improve our launch with feature. This allows you to click through to launch with partners, like how you used to click through to hotels on sites like Google Maps or TripAdvisor. New partners include CGC, 
Devatica and BD Catalyst, which run CWL, Anvil and BD Catalyst again, which run Whittle. Galaxy, which as a new addition also allows you to specify a specific Galaxy server to run on, and Nextdoor Tower, which behaves a little bit differently since it reads directly from the underlying GitHub repo. For usability issues, one example of the kinds of things that we've improved to make DocStore more usable, we've improved our logged off homepage to include more tutorials and more information on how you can work with DocStore, but also give some examples of content or news and events that have involved DocStore. You can also log into the site in order to get more information about the workflows that you've worked with recently, or to look at recent activity from workflows that you might be interested in or organizations that you're interested in. Behind the scenes, you can get excited as things like FedRAMP or CIS, AWS standards, mean something to you. We've also added language plugins, allowing for new workflow languages to contribute code for us to help understand new workflow languages. In part, this is how we managed to add Galaxy support to DocStore. We have a lot of performance optimizations in the background for things like large repos with many branches, for viewing your own workflows or paging through workflows. For the community, we've also updated uh, our implementation of the GA4 GH TUR standard from version 1 to version 2. Both of those are supported now. We've added support for Whittle 1.0, CWL 1.1, and Nextflow DSL2. Well, that's a bit of a whirlwind tour, but for further reading, you can look at our paper at this DOI, and you can also check out docs.docstore.org, which has a lot more tutorials and a lot more information on the things that we've been working on. For future work, we're also interested in things like how to perform workflow accreditation organized by those organizations, allowing users to back up Docker images referenced by workflows, adding additional language or entry types, and integrating community tooling for the existing workflow languages that exist on DocStore. To finish off, I'd like to thank the members of the DocStore team, as well as our funders at the Government of Canada through Ontario Genomics Institute and the various grants through the NIH.